Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install our 50 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf battery modules into the first generation Nissan Leaf ZE0 battery case. Here we have all the accessories and tools and the reusable parts for installation. Okay, let's get started. Okay, this is the wires we removed from the original battery pack. Uh, we are going to reuse it, but before we install it back to the new battery pack, uh, we have to modify it first. Uh, we have to remove all the temperature wires and remove all the voltage wires. How do we modify it? Um, for this end, you only need to keep this wire. It will be connected to the BMS and remove the other parts. And for this end, remove the temperature wires and the voltage wires. So now, let's modify it. Okay, we unwrap the tape from the cables. We just unwrap the tape and now we, we will find all the voltage wires and the temperature sensors and remove them. Okay, let's do it. Like I said, for this end, we only need to keep this wire and remove all those voltage wires. So we have to cut from here. Okay, those are the temperature wires and voltage wires. We cut each wires Make sure the wires won't connect together. Now we use the insulation tape to wrap them together. And wrap them with protective tubing. And wrap more insulation tape around the connection and the protection tubing. Now for this end, remove these temperature wires. Make sure the wires won't connect together. And wrap some insulation tape now. And now, the last step is to connect these two wires together. We cut the wires and we remove some skin from the wires and put them together. We solder them together. Wrap some insulation tape now. Okay, so this is the cable we are going to need. It will be like this. To make sure the insulation performance is good, we will wrap some insulation tape around the bracket of the service block. Okay, hammer the four raised the areas of blood. Install the bracket for the Rene module.
open the cover of the Rene module. Install the Rene module. Install the high voltage plug. This is the original car signal holders we just modified. Remove the clip first. Install the harness. And then put the clip back in place. Prepare to install module A. Um, before installation, place the signal harness to the other side to prevent it from being pressed by the module. Temporarily place the module on the edge of the battery case. Move this hook from here to here, and then carefully place the module into the case. When placing the module inside the case, snag it slightly to avoid any collision with the relay module. Okay, install the module B the same way. Temporarily place it on the edge of the battery case, Move the hook to the bus bar terminal and then snag the module into the case. As you can see, there isn't enough space here. That's why we remove the hook to the bus bar terminal. Put the non-spacer here, check whether all the holes are aligned. Then install module C. Slightly adjust its position so that the holes align properly. Put the three spacers here, here, and here to install module D. Install module D. Fix the module C and D. Make sure all screws are properly tightened. It's a good idea to mark them afterward to ensure none are missed. Fix module A and B. Use a small wrench to tighten the screws here. Again, make sure all screws are properly tightened. Connect the signal harness for module A and B. Connect them according to the labels and make sure the plugs are fully locked in. Connect the signal harness between module C and D. Install the temperature sensors. A total of four temperature sensors. Use deep ties to fix the cables. 
there are two power cables that connect to the service bar. So connect them first. From now on, please do not use electric wrenches anymore. Only manual wrenches can be used for subsequent installation. Insert the high voltage interlock plug from the original car cycle haulers into the service plug. Then install the service plug. Now connect the high voltage power cables. Please connect them according to this order. The torque for the screws on the terminals is mine plus or minus 0.5 Nm. Put the cover back on. Here you will need to use a small wrench to further fix the screws. Fix the cables with zip ties. Since we modified the original signal harness, this plug will no longer be used. So we just fix it here. Put the Rene module cover back on and plug in this plug from the original signal holders to the Rene module. Connect the remaining high voltage power cables or bus bus in this order.
a total of six power cables and bus bars. Please connect them in this order. Okay, all cables are now connected. Before installing the BMS, please check the voltage of the battery modules first. The two values should be the same. Then make sure the installation value between the service plug to the ground. Install the BMS bracket. Now connect the BMS. But please remember, only do this at the very end. Connecting the BMS too earlier may damage the BMS. Connect the cables according to the diagram. Fix the BMS. and secure all cables with zip ties. Okay, now we can use the OBD2 cable to check the battery. This cable allows us to check the battery when it's outside the car. We recommend all NIF owners who purchase battery modules also get such a cable to avoid repeatedly installing and removing the battery from the car. Everything looks good. Installation completed.